A quick reminder before I start, my website www.wipinmks.com is a free service. I update 11th, 12th and BCom notes on my website. I do not update anything related to mathematics and languages, so please don't ask me anything with respect to that. All the notes are available in PDF format and there's no need to sign up when it comes to downloading anything off this website. Check it out and let me know if you guys want any help. Let me tell you guys about RBI and the interest rates that they control and how these rates actually affect us. RBI is a statutory organization and what do statutory organizations do? They manage or rather regulate companies in a particular industry. IRDA regulates insurance, Tri regulates telecom and SEBI regulates the stock market. The thing about statutory companies are that they can pretty much do what they want, of course, within the legal limits and ensure that it doesn't have any adverse consequences for the general public or even the companies whom they regulate. I can boldly state that RBI is the main reason why we have never seen a severe financial distress in the banking sector despite the 2008 recession causing so many problems across the world. RBI has put forth some strong controls over the banking system and ensured that banks in India do not collapse so easily like the banks in America did in 2008. Now let's get to the topic at hand, the interest rates which RBI keeps amending. We have CRR, SLR, repo and reverse repo. Due to time constraints, I want to talk about the hard to understand interest rates which are repo and reverse repo. Repo means a repurchase agreement. What happens here? is that banks want to borrow money from RBI because RBI offers money at an inexpensive rate than the bank borrowing money from the public. Here, the bank is the buyer or rather the borrower of funds and RBI is the seller or rather the lender of funds. The bank borrowing the money can pay it back within a day or within a short period of time, which is usually less than a year. Okay, why would RBI give money to a bank? Because it wants to earn returns on the cash it has. So where is the repurchase happening here? The bank gives it back to RBI at a higher rate of interest. This is where the repurchase happens. Although remember, RBI is not actually paying here. It receives a higher rate of return on the money it has given to the bank in the first place. If repo rates are reduced, banks will feel happy because they can borrow funds from RBI at a cheaper rate. Repos increase the liquidity in the banking system. Liquidity meaning that they have more cash available. Reverse repo is when RBI takes money from banks and pays a small rate of interest on the money which they have borrowed. In this situation, the money in the banking system decreases. This is done because too much money available can lead to inflation and greater amount of loans given out by the banks. In fact, there have been situations where banks have not only given home loans, but cash for furnishing the home as well. All this happens when there is too much money in the banking system. Once upon a time, RBI even controlled something called the Prime Lending Rate or PLR. This was a common rate of interest which every bank in India can charge on the loans that they have given out. These days, banks can independently decide the PLR and RBI does not interfere in the decision making of these banks. Anyway guys, thank you for watching this video. Please hit the subscribe button and I hope you guys understood how repo and reverse repo work. If you have any queries, please leave them in the comment section below. I almost always reply to the queries that you guys put forth. Thank you guys. Have a nice day. Bye.